a people injured here February 3, Argus Desert Gate, blue team. It's Endymion, as a force commander of very good off offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs alongside a couple of Eldar. We've got Leston as a Farseer support commander that fights in melee combat, some powerful buffs, debuffs and control abilities. And rounded off the blue team here, Pygmyo is a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat, some awesome disruption, support and offense. Red team, Tanya Murder Lolly is a Lord Commissar. Strong offense and support fights in melee combat. Begins with a Refractor Field. This is the Deathcore of Krieg DLC recolored. White, alongside when Autism hits the floor, is a Plague Champion. Starts off range combat with a damage over Time Bolter. Can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support. Can build turrets and repair, but it's very slow. Gonna fight a Farseer here and rather than off the teams, Angel is a Hive Tyrant. Very durable commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense, disruption, and support begins in melee combat with a basic synapse. He's found a force commander to fight. Former Gaunts are going to be tying up these tactical marines. Might drop a few models though. Tactical marines can hold their own in melee. Surprised they didn't just go for the garrison there. Misplay, not going for the garrison. I think they drew drop a model. Now they go for the garrison. And force commander getting stuck in with battle cry. High of tyrant, meanwhile, fighting some shotgun scouts who, for some reason, Use their shotgun blast there, which doesn't knock this bike guy back and doesn't uh, doesn't suppress him either. Maybe it does a big chunk of damage. Must do some damage. I have Tyrant. Find some tactical marine trying to retreat. They got hit by a spawn mine too. But they do get away without dropping a further model. Meanwhile, west side. Eldar have pushed through, but Pygmyo gets them off the field. Don't think he got his power, power touched either. Some Dire Avengers here. It's kind of funky color scheme they've got. CSM getting caught by the Farsi in melee but there's some Nurgly worship giving health regeneration to your units including vehicles these days which is pretty cool. Look at this half time pushing up decapping that fully matured wreck point Endymion needs to get back into the field. Was a bit hasty in that engagement could have been a little bit more defensive trying to get in there with the force commander but Hive Tyrant so strong in those initial fights. Marines coming back out. Oh, Farseer barely getting out of there. Shuriken helping her escape though. And Pygmyo going double guarding weapon teams to try and control this relatively narrow west lane, I guess. Bad news for the Sentinel, that's for sure. Sentinel can walk through these walls though, so could make a hasty escape if it likes. Spore mine still in play for Angel. Do we have upgraded Termigants? We do. But no. Former Gaunt's upgrade. What do you have, Mr. Force Commander, for me? You've got Artificer. I can't remember the last time I saw a Force Commander in one of these replays getting his Storm Shield up. Don't see it very It's a nice, pretty nice piece of war gear, too. I guess his Thunder Hammer's so good and his Power Fist is so good. I have time. I might go down and retreat here. Getting shot up and does go down. Former Gaunt's in amongst double tactical marines, but with the Hive Tyrant away, I think they need to, well, down. They need to get out of there, I think. There's that Crippling Poison, now pouring some damage on that Force Commander. Are you going to take the garrison? I don't think you should. These guys using their shiny Kraken Bolts, although it only gives you a damage bonus against heavy infantry. So it's just a show. I was once told that it um, slight re slightly reduced the cooldown of the weapon, so it did marginally very marginally increase the uh, DPS versus all targets but uh, I don't think that's actually true energy shield up here now debuffing their range with that artillery spotter smoke shell he's staying in play here he needs to get out there's two players on you he's got another shuriken to hide behind facilitates the retreat now these guys need to be very careful there's a disruption I would have been disrupted if they didn't uh, retreat, this guy doesn't want to push forward. Very strange to arrive late like that and then retreat. Could have stayed back, could have stayed in play with Leston here. And uh, made a defense of this west side. But as it stands, red team going to push through there. Might get a ba power bash. Just little mistakes like that can cost you. 4 3 4, four eight, 2 If a little mistake costs you a power bash, then uh turns into a pretty big mistake. Warrior brood on the field for Angel. Might see the Barb Strangler to help control the Force Command and of course the double tactical Marines that 
which are tending to blob up right now. Scouts using their infiltration to scout ahead, but they will be spotted by the Warrior Brood, which are a detector unit for Tyranids. Have Tyrant Chargers in, he won't be able to charge through the tank traps, but avoids them altogether there. That's the extended Carapus. Using the Warrior Brood in melee so far, and they do have power melee damage and some really nice disruption with their passive leap. So that'll do some work for you for sure. Force Corner now using his battle cry. Don't think he wants to hang around here too long. There we go, run away. Oh, Banshee's going down this west side. He needs some help here. Leston's uh, always capping up the mid. So you'll just have to hold and try not to lose stuff, Pigmeo. Looks like everything else got away, but they might lose the power here. Down goes a node. Blobbing up big time here, the, the red team. Look at that, how nice would it be to have a nuke right now? Just a few grenades over the wall. Where is Leston? I guess he doesn't want to engage two players. So he's not. Might be able to get a nasty flank though when um, Pygmyo comes back out of HQ. Endymion getting some assault marines for a pretty heavy tier one. Double tax into assault squad can do a lot for you. Tier, four, uh, tier 2, I should say, for Hits the Floor. He's got double CSM and double Heretics. I have time tying things up. What a Warrior Brood up to. They're standing back there. Misplay from Angel. And there's a jump. Warrior Brood can counter initiate with their leap, but doesn't knock over the Assault Marines because they get, a, I think it's four seconds of knockback immunity while they use their jump just to to help them not get kind of interrupted doing it I think but that will also last through to when they land for for a couple of seconds or so 434 384 2 to 1 cap for the blue team going into tier 2 with power down on the west side though it has been it is still capped he really needs to get forward and bash power with his double CS uh, double attacks but he's not big mistake I think could get a flamer up and Bash, although he's gone tier 2, so he can't get the flamer up now. It oh, looks like he's going to try now. Might be too late to get a full Bash. Assault Marines could help. Where are his... Oh, his scouts have gone down. Meanwhile, mid. Big blob of heretics. And they all got their grenade launcher. Sure they do. Can be really dangerous. Often underestimate the power of um, double grenade launcher heretics on your stuff. But uh, they got caught in a really bad position there trying to get up the stairs. Banshee's got in on them. So quick, like a flash. They have the aspect of strength. Big Mirror just trying to hold his power now. Has no did it back up. Spotters causing lots of problems for his guardian weapon team. Lots and lots of problems. Destructor. Warlock's going to go down. No sloppy engagement there by Pig Mirror's Warlock. But here comes Leston to help out. With some pew pew of his own. Banshees using their fleet of foot to get around. And we're going to get a revive here, I guess. Yep. Here comes some Dire Avengers of Pygmyo joining the party late. Does get uh, Tanya Murdalolli out of there. Can they get a power bash? Or maybe not. There's a bunch of chaos stuff. Meanwhile, east side. Power of Tyrant. Nice special. We have Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood. So they have some heavy melee damage now. What's the DPS on it? 30. That's not bad. Per model. Also, we'll be providing... Oh, they would have been providing... A very nice bonus to the Hormagons, but they've they've been wiped off the map. Wonder if the Force Commander will get his hammer up now that the Hormagons are gone. Ogren's hitting the field for Mudalolly. Do we have the We have Carapace? We might get the uh, aura of discipline. Power sword also up. Some Wraith Guard for Leston. Hell already have their Spirit Seer Warlock for Leo. Gives them that nice speed buff. Wraith Sight, I believe it's called. Gene Sitter Brood on the way for Angel. So they're going to get a melee synapse. And they're going to be pretty damn scary. So surely we will see the Thunderhammer there. Going to want to wait for the Force Commander to engage. Then you can cripple him. And send the very dangerous Gene Sitters elsewhere with their Warrior Brood. And then cripple him again. And then maybe uh, 
put the Hive Tyrant on him with Crushing Claw or something to do some damage and maybe knock him over or something. Could also use the Psychic Scream, of course, to debuff a bunch of damage. Got a lot of options there, Hive Tyrant. Ogrins with the Boned Leader. They have some heavy melee damage. They have super heavy infantry too, so they will have some resistance against regular piercing damage ranged weapons. Here are the Gene Stealers. Again, not sure why. People tend to just purchase Rending Claws without a good reason. No reason to get this if there's not a vehicle on the field. You'll actually do more damage to the heavy, heavy infantry with your um, default power melee claws. Oh, war another warrior brood dropped in. This is going to be cool to see. Scouts here for Endymion with their sergeant, but they don't have a shotgun in their hand. Power being bashed. Here comes a flank though from Leston. Trying to shut it down with a mortar strike. Oh, that's the uh, incendiary shell. They, na they now have like a, um, a vision shell now or something. Like a vision flare, I believe. Ogren's moving in. Might want to tie up those Wraith Guard. Good damage to all targets with those Wraith Cannons. They also suppress infantry. And they're immune to suppression themselves. But really, really bad in melee combat. As you can see, the Lord Commissar is being tying them up now. That was the levitation field you just saw from the far here dealing with the Ogrins. Really nice way to help you combat melee. Oh, did the Ogrins get away? No, they don't. Thought they were going to charge in there and, and do some work, but they got shut down by the Farseer and then chopped up by the Banshees and then finished off by a, a Shuriken, I think. Here we see when Autism hits the floor east side. Supported both sides reasonably well, but uh, Her oh, Heretics are level 2, they must have done some work. Plague Champion with his Bile Spewer. Fantastic weapon, this thing. Bash power really effectively and mess up infantry movement and debuff him as well. Leveling up the CSM there. Dreadnought on the way for Endymion. Wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Gene Stealers maybe. I assume he's going to keep it in melee for now. 434, 280 on the VPs. Pretty decent VP lead for the blue team. It's been pretty heavy back and forth, especially on the flanks. Guardian Weapon team with Guide buffing their range and their damage. Autop dropped in, nicely done. But uh, does it want to hang around here? Looks like he's got the Thorax Swarm upgrade for the Warrior Brood. And look, my tooltips are now working. It was um, it was actually my fault all along. I had a, an errant UCS file in there causing problems. So, yay for tooltips! There's your thorax swarm. Also increases their speed. Look at that, and their health gives them the electro shock rub and desiccator larva. Nice levitation field again. It's incompatible with the um, adrenal glands, which is why. They're in their regular power melee state, although they can get the Barb Strangler with it, which might be worth it, I think. 4 3 1 to 2 80, 2 to 1 for red. Doing well on this east side, but now they've met a Dreadnought. Here it is from Endymion with its default melee state. Has that wrist mounted flamer too. Which uh, is that a thing in tabletop? Dreadnoughts have wrist mounted flamers. Seems to be something that they like doing in Dawn of War games. 418280. Fire Prism on the way for Pygmyo. Great unclean one on the way for hits the floor. I guess he just skipped tier 2 altogether. Warlock can't really do much. He's got his channeling runes. Help support the Banshees. That is now lost. But Leston has some. Almost level 2. Tier 3 for Tanya now. Spotters capping. A nice flank attempt again by Lesson did some serious damage with it last time taking out those Ogrins uh oh Farseer might go down though Banshee's coming in late Farseer lives oh maybe not should get revived from there though pretty easily and there's that washout scaring off all of these guardsmen these guys fully upgraded with their um, squad leaders the commissar and the sergeant up to 12 models reinforcing three at a time though they don't have any weapon upgrade yet. East side turns blue. We have some Stern Guard veterans for Endymion. First company tactical marines that can change their ammo 
to combat all targets. I think they're getting a buff to their vengeance rounds in 2.7.1 as well. At least it was on the cards at some point to do a bit more damage to vehicles with them. There's a great and clean one. Seems to come out pretty quick there. Super unit for chaos. Passively damages nearby enemies and has some nasty abilities too. 406241. Gene Stiller Brood in amongst with their Adrenal Rush, giving them some health back on hit. Also buffs their damage, I think, and their speed. It's a pretty, pretty damn dangerous ability for something that's already super, super melee. I think that was the um, Desiccator Larvae. I believe it debuffs enemies or makes them take more damage or something like that. Can't quite remember. Dreadnought causes some problems though. Getting some Synapse Bombs with its 100 DPS Heavy Melee with a 40 Splash on hit. Pygmyo just lost some Dire Avengers but here's the Fire Prism. Boom. So Great and Clean One is super heavy infantry over 6,000 hit points of it. You want to fight this guy if you can with Plasma and Melter weapons. Or if you dare to get close, some power melee weapons, although anti-vehicle weapons will still do the job for you. Shuriken might want to back away. Waiting for him to use his foul snare, this big fella. Usually uses it on heroes. Boom! Big hit on the Farsi. He doesn't actually do splash damage, this big guy. It was removed in Elite Mod, but he does do more damage with his weapon on single targets now 406 192 221 cap for the blue team Brickley one not causing all sorts of problems they're just marching alongside it the Imperial Guard here talk about combined arms very heretical combined arms we have a D cannon on the way for less than another fire prison for Pygmyo it's gonna be a pretty pretty hectic uh, tier 3 I think Endymion is still in tier 2 he is... Oh, he's not floating yet. 150 power to get to tier 3. Could go and save up for Terminators. He's got plenty of red. Well, how are we looking for nukes? Hits the floor, could um, drop a nuke or maybe save for his own Terminators. Dreadnought under some pressure here. What do you have, Mr. Hive Tyrant? Oh, got his crushing claw. 188 heavy melee DPS. Pretty crazy. Attacks pretty fast, so it's good in those extended melee fights. Sentinel's still around. He's done some work with that missile launcher, I think. Look at that. Those frag missiles going in. Oh, big nurgly vomit from the great and clean one. Cloud of flies, but that is the levitation blade. Or gravity blade, I should say, doing the levitation field. Runes of reaping also up there. Trying to defend their VP here, blue team. Lehman Russ for Tanya. Look at this, Sentinel getting some shots on the Fire Prism. Why is it slowed down here? Not sure why it's moving so slowly. Oh, it ran over some mines, did it? Must have. Wow, that's a really long speed debuff there. And down it goes. Sentinel doing some serious work. Did it level up? It is almost level 4 now. 402, 183. Uh, the east side's completely blue apart from this VP which has been taken by... A level 3 Plague Champion with the Biospear. You might see him transition to the Plague Fist later on to help facilitate caps. Assault Squad chasing down the Great and Clean One. Not a great fight for them, but Great and Clean One is relatively low. He'll need to waddle all the way back to base to heal up, or maybe he's get some Heretic Worship. There we go. It'll still take a while to heal him up, though. Might want to go back to base. 385183. So Blue Team have uh, 100 VP lead. Red Team have had the best of the last few engagements and Pygmyo is looking depleted with Fire Prism and Guardian Weapon Team. What about you, Mr. Warlock? Just a channeling rune still. Gene Stiller Brood, have you leveled up yet? Nope. Have Talents level 3. Got a level 2 Commissar, now has Stubbornness. Level 4 Fast here with Armor of the Assyrian Time Field. So, so strong in team fights. And a level 3 Force Command with a Thunder Hammer. Kicking off it. Tanya getting a bit uh, hasty with his stormtroopers. I think he really wanted to chuck a grenade and did. Red team now swarming the east side. Getting those stone guard veterans out of there and those marines. Warlock throws out his destructor. Are you going to engage here, Mr. Warlock? This is not a good fight for you. 
Oh, Fire Prism comes to support. Should be able to keep that guy away from the very dangerous melee forces of Angel. He still has the second Warrior Brood in its uh, melee with its default with their default melee weapons. No Barb Trangler. He really wants his full melee going on. Is that an assault cannon? It is an assault cannon dreadnought now. Can't really damage the uh, Lehman Russ. Assault cannons are piercing weapons, but they do massive amounts of DPS to a single target. Three six five one eight three. I think that is the uh, artillery. Hey, give me some vision shell. I believe that's what it does. Incendiary shell going in. Oh, that was a spirit stone seal. Spirit spiritual rights. I think it's called. Yeah. No longer gives her XP when she revives people. Grand Queen One's uh, still getting worshipped. Three, four, seven, one, eight, three. Bit of a stalemate in the mid. This game might be won on this east flank here. Oh, play champion goes down to some acid rounds from these Stone God veterans. You actually get more raw DPS using the Kraken rounds against um, enemy commanders, but um, if it's a retreating hero, then the damage over time is pretty great. Also great if they are sat in cover. 3, 2, 8, 1, 8, 3. Boom. A Chaos Predator with Mark of Corn for hits the floor. Avatar of Kane on the way for Pygmyo. Oh, Carnifex stomping around now with the Barb Strangler upgrade on the way. Good choice, I think. Help his melee ball of death get in there with that very painful suppression. Blue team are retaking each side. Pygmyo recovers with the Avatar and got resources for more stuff, but what does he get? More setup teams might be good to help fight the vehicles and keep stuff at bay. Not sure what his banshees are up to. They seem to be staring at the power node and then got hit with a mortar shell. 3, 2, 1, 1, 6, 9. These guys trying to flee away from this commissar. Kicking off east side, is it? Tyrion is moving in. Gene says taking a lot of damage already. There's a webway. What is this? Terminators? It is Terminators. He's gone for ranged Terminators, Endymion. I thought for sure he'd get Assault Terminators up with claws and try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Tyranids in melee. Maybe he wants the Cyclo Missile Launcher and stuff. Or the uh, Big Heavy Flamer, which is pretty cool. Mark was each CSM for when Autism hits the floor. Good damage to the Super Heavy Infantry of the Avatar. Doing full damage there. And it piles up, as you can see. Still a level 1 Fire Prism. Looks like Red Team will cap, though. A little bit of a messy engagement for them. Oh, time field into a Fire Prism shot, which is really nice. Holy crap! That was a Wraith Guard volley and a half. Almost wiped out two squads off the map. Just left a red smear of Chaos Space Marine there. Just one model survived. That was awesome. I think they had um, Guide on them, which is why they did massive amounts of damage then. But also level 2. Being tied up the Plague Marine, who has his Plague Fist. Armor of Pestilence and Mucus Discharge. So he's full Mr. I can tank and um, cap things mode. Carnifex avoids the Cyclone Missile Launcher, which does a massive amount of damage these days. Each miss missile does 70 barrage damage. I'm not sure how exactly barrage damage interacts with all the armor types, but um, does a good job versus vehicles. Gene Stiller Brood, still level 1. Another Lehman Rust for Tanya, did he keep the other one as well? I don't see it. But I could just be not seeing it. Sentinel still around. Here is that second Lehman Rust. 284, 148, oh Nurgle Nuke. That's the Imperial Abyss from when Autism hits the floor and a Toronto Formation in there, holy crap. Literally on the same spot. Try and survive that. It looks like they kind of did. Less than I don't think lost anything. But it should win them the VP back for now. There's that Barb Strangler Carnifex getting shots in. Gene Steeler's closing in now. Force is going to go down. Down he goes. 
Vanguard veterans want to get out of there. They don't take any losses. They're alright. Terminators can't retreat, of course. They'll have to try and teleport away as soon as it's available. Doesn't look like it is. And they're being chased by a tank and a great and clean one. Avatar down to half health needs to be careful. Farsia going to try and get a very, very cheeky little revive in, but gets knocked over. And now Crushing Claws. Oh, look at that. Uses Time Field to try and get the revive. Does it last long enough? Looks like it does. There we go. She seemed to revive really quickly then. What was that? That was kind of strange. Is it always that fast? The Spirit Stones buff your revive speed or something? Hmm. 275, 148, 2 to 1 cap for the red team here. Double D cannons for less than. This one's not set up though. Some Seer Council now for Pygmyo who's recovered with Avatar, another Fire Prism and no Seer Council on the way. We don't see a Providence Warlock though. Seems to be the go-to build for late game Warlocks. But he had to spend his resources on, on stuff. Here comes a shrine. It's going to be a Nurgle shrine which will reinforce allied squads if you worship it. And either way it will heal you up and also suppress enemies that get close. It's a pretty nice shrine. I think the strongest one overall. There's a case to be made for that. Blood letters on the way late for when autism hits the floor just to get pressure on the Wraith Guard and stuff quickly I think. You need to be careful engaging. This tank's taking a battering hit. Cyclone missile launcher going in. Red team are set up to defend. It's going to be a pretty crazy fight, I think, if they push all in here. 2 to 1 cap for red. Looks like their natural is safe, the blue team, so they are happy to commit here. That's a singularity to kick things off, I believe. There it is. Oh, but drags in all of the allied stuff as well, but did make some paste out of some heretics, I think. Very aggressive push by the blue team, trying to get in there with some grenades, I think. And uh, that's time field. The shrine is still healing everything, but I don't think it's... Uh, it's yeah, it's not being worshipped right now, so they can't reinforce. But that heal is pretty nice. Cloud of Flies now, pretty crazy engagement here. Levitation field doing its thing. Where's the Spirit Stones heal? Has she used it already? Also a Noxious Cloud, that was absolutely crazy. What a fight. Great and clean one being shot up there. And Avatar trying to get damage on. Oh, missile launchers from the garrison. The tank did go down. That was the Mark of Corn Chaos Predator from... Hits the floor. What is the Hive Tyrant? Is he up? Is he alright? Nope. Goes down. And Red Team are going to lose this east side, I think. But look at this. Decapping Blue Team's natural. Well done, Tanya. I guess that was a... Th was that a 3v2 fight? I guess it was a 3v2 fight. Which is why Blue Team did so well, maybe. I thought that... I thought that friendly fire singularity would have screwed them, but... They pulled through. And did some damage, too. Noise Marines on the way... On the field, I should say, for hits the floor. Most likely going to get their Blastmaster immediately. There we go. For some nice artillery fire. 160, 148 on the VPs. 2 to 1 for Red Team. More Fire Prism for Pygmyo. Lima Ross goes down. Blue Team are going to take back their VP eventually. And what do they do now? Do you push through the mid? I think you do. Look at this, Neurothrope on the field. Don't see this very often. It's a very, very cool and strong unit though. Kind of a super sub-commander type thing. Can only get one of them. Nasty abilities to heavy and super heavy infantry with the paroxysm. Doing percentage-based damage. And also extra to heavy and super heavy. Has the cataclysm to disrupt. And a self-healing ranged attack, which is pretty cool. Can't regenerate energy though, so needs to use um, Spirit Leech and some other thing that I forget the name of to get energy back. 144, 142. 
There's that levitation field. Nero throat got knocked over there, that was weird. Done some really great work with the gravity blade. Kicking off again though, in a massive engagement in the mid. The bunch of termagants ran away, but the great and clean one is still there. Passively damaging everything. Did not see the... Why is the Nero throat retreating? I think Angel kind of panicked there. Could have used, could have thrown, I don't think he used any ability whatsoever with the Neuro Throat there. Could have just thrown out a paroxysm if he wanted to retreat. Triple Fire Prisms here for Pygmyo. Actually knocking back allied units. Gotta be careful. Oh, nice singularity, wow. I think he saved them with None Shall Fall in the knack of time. In the nick of time, I should say. With the Fist of Brockus. Uh, does it... I'm not sure if that... I don't think it um, affects your allies anymore. None shall fall. I think it's only your units. I think that's right. 144103. Commissar trying to get a cap. Blue team still have the east side. Valiant effort. A valiant push by the red team. But they have been rebuffed here some more ranged terminators for endymion and they also have the cyclone missile launcher storm bolters and power fist too of course what's this over here banshees and a d cannon to stop caps some plague marines now from hits the floor didn't see what the blood letters did there blast master noise marines coming east side still has some level three csm with marco zinch Blue team just camping on the VP, but they need to defend the east side, I think. Well, maybe not. Tyranny is still mid. Five Tyrant is now what? Level 4 with Warp Field. I think uh, the Psychic Scream might do a lot of work for him. He could charge in and use it and debuff a hell of a lot of stuff in his big team fights. But hey, Warp Field allows him to stomp around for longer and smacking stuff with his Crushing Claw, which is also great. Vanguard veterans being very aggressive going after that zone throw. They get it off the field. The neuro throw also leaves. There's another time field. Done some fantastic work with that. Has less than level 9 fast here right here. She's been the, the difference in a lot of these fights, I think. Levitation field and time field have done a hell of a lot of stuff. Level 2 stone guard veterans. Some level 4 tactical marines. Getting way too close to plasma guns there. Oh, there's... um. And they shall know no fear from these Stone Guard veterans. Reduces their speed, but makes them pretty resistant to damage. Also gives us some nice knockback in melee. There's that spiritual rights heal. Blastmaster shot doesn't hit anything, I don't think. The fire prisms come back to the middle. Avatar moving in. Another massive fight brewing. But it's a two to one for blue. Can they hold on to it? There's none shall fall. Maybe used a little bit early there. Maybe. Execution of Plasma Cannon for the Lehman Russ. Another Fire Prism, this one from Leston. Floating tons of resources, but yeah, at the pop cap, as is Endymion. Massive armies for pretty much all the players here. Some red stuff going east side, they do need to split up a little bit. Termigants aren't going to be able to cap though under this. You see Leston hanging out near his web bay, able to... Uh, Shift position quickly. Might want to put another one in the middle here. 144-31. 2 to 1 cap. Red team pushing mid though. Blastmaster getting a shot in. That's a is that a mortar shell? It is. These fellas are still alive. They've got their heavy mortar cannon as well, giving them maximum damage on those mortar shots. Fine effects also still around. Great and clean one. Soaking up a huge amount of damage, but now needs some support. Nothing else really followed him in there. Orbital from Endymion. Could be enough to seal the win. Can't push through an orbital strike. Grand Clean one being chased down here, but vomits up all over these banshees for level three. Need to be careful, ladies. Might have retreated too late there. And they are okay, and Blue Team take it. Victory. Heavy, heavy fighting from Tier 2 onwards. Some crazy Tier 3 engagements. 
A bunch of fire prisms was great. Farseer did some awesome work. She got level 10. MVP for me. First one had to teleport at the end. Level 5. The level 5 warlock who was down. I don't think he ever got a weapon upgrade. Level th Only level 3 Lord Commissar. That's crazy with the amount of stuff that died. Level 4 Plague Champion did have the Fist. Pestilence and Mucus Discharge and a level 4 Hive Tyrant with his crazy crushing claw. There you have it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.